Welcome back to this mini-series on better code organization for platform-specific code in NativeScript. I'm Alex from Native Scripting. In the last two videos, we looked at how to organize your TypeScript code in a platform-specific way. And in this video of the series, we're going to take a look at how to organize your CSS code that's platform-specific and uh, what is the best practice to do that. So we started out with a NativeScript Hello World template and it's showing a list. And it's looking pretty dull right now, so let's add a little bit of color. We have this items component.html file, and that's where our list of items lives. We need to style this by providing a CSS file. So I'm going to create two new files here items component.android.css and items component.ios.css. If you need a review on these naming conventions and how the NativeScript CLI processes these files, take a look at the first video in the series where I talk about that. And while in those videos I show you code files, TypeScript files, in this video, I'll show you CSS files, but the CLI processes them the same way. All the CLI cares about is seeing that dot Android dot in the name of the file and dot iOS dot. It could be JavaScript files, it could be CSS files, it could be TypeScript files, doesn't matter. So items component dot Android dot CSS will be renamed to items component dot CSS when built for Android and items component.ios.css will be renamed to items component.css when it's built on iOS. So in both cases, the final file name that we're going to get is going to be items component.css, which is the name of the file that we're going to indicate in our components metadata. Well, that's all great. And some of you might have already known this, but that's not why we're here. We want to see how we can have the different code, but we also want to be able to share some code so we're not repeating a lot of the CSS. And that's what I'm going to show you. So let's take a look at an example. I'm going to create a class called MyLabel, which has a background color. We'll set it to pink. And this is the iOS file. So we'll say the text color is going to be blue. We'll also make the font size bigger. We'll set it at 28. Let's copy it and paste it into the Android file. And I'll keep the background as pink, but I'll modify the color of the text. Let's make it red. And instead of changing the font size, I'll just change the font style and make it italic. Let's go to the items component.html and use the my label class. Right here, we have a label that shows the name of the football player. I'm just going to apply the class to it. Let's save everything and take a look. All right, there we go. And for iOS, we can see that we have a pink background for each label, along with slightly larger blue text. But on Android, we have the pink background and we have the red italicized text. And that's exactly what we expected to see. But there's a problem. There's not so much a problem with the way it works, but the problem will be evident when you have a larger application and you have a lot of styles. Let's say our component has a lot of styling and a lot of classes, but a lot of it is the same for both iOS and Android. So we have to repeat it in each one of these files. Well, that would be bad. Those are shared styles and you don't want to repeat them in every file that'll bloat your code and also make it very difficult to maintain because then you'll end up having to change it in two places. So in our specific case here, we have the label and uh, we have the differences in the text color and the size and the style of the label, but the background color is repeated. We want to take all the styles and all the classes and all the rules that are repeated in these CSS files and instead, we want to create a common CSS file that's going to be shared. So in this android.css file and the ios.css file, these are our platform specific files. I only want to keep what's going to be different in these files. And I want to keep all the shared styles, or we can call them common styles, in a common file. So let's create a new file called items.component.common.css. Let's copy out what's common and paste it in the common file. And in our case, what's common is the background color of the label. And now that the background color is in the common file, I can delete it from the platform specific files. And now the key here is that I'm going to import using CSS import statement, uh, the common file into our platform specific files. Now let's save everything and take another look. And sure enough, the pink background is still there and all the styling is there as before, including the platform specific differences. All right. Well, thanks for watching this series on how to organize your NativeScript platform specific code. And of course, if you want to learn more about NativeScript, there's free courses on nativescripting.com, where you'll also be able to find premium courses that go deeper into different subjects. These courses are taught by NativeScript experts. 
Thanks for watching. And if you're not subscribed yet, be sure to subscribe here for tips and tricks like this one. All right, happy coding.